So guys, my name is Mahdi and this is Phonics Sandy. Before we start, just know this is my first attempt at making YouTube videos, so don't judge me hard. In this video, I want to make an RC airplane with 120 centimeters in the sun. Alright, let's start from the design. I had a shape in my mind. Sketched it on a paper, then modeled it in the software, and this is what I ended up with. Now I need to slice the wings and the fuselage down to 4 cm thickness and arrange them on a 50 by 50 cm HDS mesh so they are ready for cutting. I went out and find a HDS bone software and got some for my project. This is my CNC foam pattern. I designed this machine four years ago. It's a four axis setup and each axis can move independently, letting it cut pieces with two different cross sections. The cutting finished after about three hours. The drift was 150 cm per minute and the total cutting pass came out to around 25 meters. I pulling out all of the pieces from the foam sheet and look at the accuracy of the CNC foam cutting. These parts are for the fuselage and retail and access hatch doors. And these parts are for the wings. I designed this hole for carbon fiber tube, the main spur, and this one is for servo wire. Now it's time to assemble the body. Assembling the parts takes patience and careful attention. You really need to be precise with this step. Check this out, the fuselage assembling is complete. The parts are perfectly fit together and I am very happy with this. I glued fins part together and fixed them to their places. I made this curve with sandpaper for better look and aerodynamic look. Finally, I need some sanding to align these two edges. Look at the smooth transition between parts. The sanding of two sides are done and it's time to work on um, no section. I designed some plywood parts for the spots that take more glue and need some extra strengths like where the main wing spar goes, the firewall or the battery compartment. The 
parts are going to be cut with a pseudo laser. Here I am installing the wooden parts, unfortunately I forgot to click the record button, so a few parts of the process didn't get captured. So wings are complete and now it's time to install them on the fuselage. I cut two 5mm carbon fiber tube and glue them to the rotator in order to keep wing in its place and doesn't let them spin around the main spot. Now I've installed the main spar into the fuselage. This step is super critical because the main spar has to be perfectly perpendicular to the fuselage's longitudinal axis. As you can see, the main spar is perfectly aligned with the fuselage. All right, the wings are attached to the fuselage. Now I'm going to sand areas that need to smooth it. I just need to smooth uh, these areas between the wing and the fuselage to achieve a perfect transition between the wing and fuselage. Let's do it. Sanding is down and this is the result. As you can see, we have a smooth transition between the fuselage and the wing in both sides. After installing and fixing all the parts, it's sanding time. I'm using 240 and 400 grit sandpaper to finish the fuselage and the wing, which gives a really smooth and clean surface. I think that's enough for this part. On the next part, I want to cover the entire fuselage and wing with a fiberglass so stay tuned for the next part